Hey, how's it going folks? Stacker Noob UK, back once again with another silver stacking video. Hope you're all doing really, really well, especially in these price turmoil times. Silver and gold are absolutely flying right now. It's wonderful to see, especially for those of us who have been buying silver and gold bullion for, you know, a little while now. Uh, about three and a half years for me, my average price is something in the region of sort of 16, 17 dollars an ounce. Um, all in all, I've paid probably 16, 16, 50 pounds per ounce of everything I've got and the spot price is up over 21 pounds an ounce right now and that's just, you know, just spot price. So, yeah, very, very pleased. I'm, I'm clearly in profit right now. But since, um, since silver premiums um, during the crisis have been very, very high, I've been encouraged to buy premium silver because I thought, well, if I'm going to buy silver, and it's going to be expensive anyway, I might as well buy some really, really nice stuff. And of course, one of my videos a few months ago featured these coins here, the Zsin or Chingus coins. I'm told it's pronounced Chingus, but it looks like Zsin to me. But of course, we had uh, Gallus, which was the, uh, year of the year of the rooster, of course. Canis, which of course, year of the dog, canine. And of course, we had... Scroffa, which was a year of the pig my favorite one so far and you know the the real the real star of the show is actually the uh the sort of totem face mask thing that they have on these things it's just it's just a stunning stunning backdrop to look at that it's just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful but of course we cannot stop there there is much to do it is now the year of the rat it is 2020 and that means that the com school have released the next coin in this series has actually really been released a couple of months now but I had some supply problems getting this coin to me but now we have it I'm very very happy to reveal the next one in the series which is Ratus. You're the rat of course and here she is and she's looking stunning absolutely stunning so yep so the you know the rat motif sort of thing as uh, so was like a rat sort of face there uh, I'm not really sure what all the, the crown thing is all about and everything like that. So just to recap, these coins are essentially akin to the lunar calendar. But in, in Korean mythology, there's also these uh, these human or these, these godlike forms which accompany the animals essentially. They are the, sort of the, the human embodiment of the lunar animals. And they all perform different roles as gods and goddesses. For example, Scroffa here, you're the pig. She is the protector of the gateway to heaven, and she's able to uh, to duplicate herself on the battlefield. Hence the uh, the special edition Scroffa Ghost Coin, which I have right here. But they're all sort of warriors and that sort of thing. To me, I don't know much about Rattus and what it is that she apparently does, but it looks to me as if she might be something something of a mage, perhaps. But yeah, looking absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Just stunning, stunning coins, and there's that, there's that back of the coin again, which is to me just the star of the show. It's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. I wonder if I can. So I have my macro lens on. So let's see if we can uh, do some zoomage here. There you go. It's a bit better of an angle. Look at that. Look at that. Stunning, stunning coin. The security feature course goes from AG to 999. Let's have a look at the... Uh, I'm going to call this the front, because these are medallions, actually, technically. They're not coins. So there we go. There's an, do you know what? I hadn't even noticed her face detail. Version. I thought it was an actual just mask she was wearing. But look, you can see her eyes through a veil sort of thing. And there's the, um, the yin and yang symbol on her, on her breast there. I didn't even notice that either. Macro lenses are handy, aren't they? And this looks... This actually looks like the moon. It does. I thought it was like a pearl because in a lot of like sort of Asian mythology, like the sort of flaming pearl is a, is a is a symbol. But that looks to me like the moon. Very very interesting. So there we go. So let's zoom back out. There we go. So there we go, guys. Just a real quick video to update you on the latest in the uh, the Chingus or Zisin series. If you are looking for you know, a series which is going to carry premiums for a long, long time. I think this has got a really good shout of doing that. Um, I recently spoke about how I swapped out all my Marvel silver coins for gold at an excellent ratio. And 
to me, this series here has exactly the same sort of potential in terms of premiums being held and growing quite exponentially. So I'm very, very pleased to be owning these. And of course, the series will last at least another eight years. So it's a long-term project. And we all know what happened to the, uh, you know, the early Perth Mint coins. Um, the, the premiums on those are actually insane. So hopefully that happens in this case as well. There you go, guys. I'll leave you with that lovely, lovely image right there. Thank you so, so much. I really hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Take care of yourselves and cheers.